Gucci gang, and welcome to Route One. We're the journeymen. I'm Sean Finch Meehan, multimedia star. Upon the left hand side, we got Leo McGuinn keeping it real as always, and then we got Shimobi Trice, real name, no gimmicks. <laughs> Today, we're talking about Ireland's greatest sporting moment from 2000 to, uh, for some strange reason, 2012. The I'm 12, sure there the was. Cycle I'm sure there was. I'm yeah. sure there was absolutely no reason why it was 12 years rather than 17 years. But the either way, cycle, I get it, uh, I get it. that was on RTE last night, lads. One or two. 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 Okay. Two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, nominations for this this millennium. Yeah. Because it wasn't a decade, it was well, the millennium. Not, millennium it's no, millennium it wasn't. It was, yeah. it, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, does doesn't. Oh, no, no, it's 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 yeah. it doesn't. Anyway, it was. We'll go. We'll go by year. Two thousand. Sonia O'Sullivan winning the silver medal at the Olympics. Okay. Two thousand and seven. John Hayes crying at the national anthem That's before true. Ireland destroyed England at Crow Park. Mm-hmm. Uh, Paddy Park Harrington winning the Open. Two thousand seven. Carnoustie. Grand Slam 2009, rugby, and Katie Taylor winning gold in London 2012. Out of that list, what would you think should have won? Patrick Harrington, hands down. Patrick Harrington should have won. Um, what do you think? Personally, I'd go Grand Slam, but I find it very interesting. We've obviously had a very barren spell between 2000 and 2007. There's three that are within three years of each other, but there's yeah. nothing between 2007. 2007 seemed to be a good year. Yeah, for Irish sports. I mean, well, for yeah. people crying on telly, Ma- the cricket brilliant. that year as well. The Pakistan. cricket was it, which I mean, people are gonna you know be derisory about it. But, rest, rest know. in peace. What's what? Priest, was your rest in peace. Rest in peace. Uh, what was your Bob Wilmer. Bob Wilmer. Rest Wilmer. in peace, yeah. Bob Wilmer. Yeah, he died. Ireland killed him. We basically. made him. Ca- we yeah. made him catch a heart attack real yeah. quick. Uh, also, yeah, we beat England at the Cricket World Cup as well. No, that was twenty eleven. That was twenty eleven. But yeah, but no, but no, well, not yeah. not the same. Not the yeah, same, yeah, obviously, but like. What would you? What would you do? like? That's beating England. That's beating them. At, like we beat them at rugby. Obviously, we beat them at football. But like yeah. cricket is a no. But like, you know what I mean. Like Irish people seem yeah. to have a very like. Oh, we beat England. That's don't see it beating us at long balls, mate. You you just wait. Oh yeah, well yeah. Like, I don't I don't see England beating Scotland at curling. Have they? They might have. I don't know. Anyway, I don't anyway, anyway. What was my point? Anyway. Oh yeah, Jason McIntyre should be there. The Jason McIntyre. Absolutely, absolutely. That's, absolutely. That's, that's a travesty. That. I, think, I think that that, in terms of moments, this millennium, the, the people go back to that. They hark back to, they not only hark back to that goal, Keane's they talk about Keane's tackle, they talk about that infamous handshake at the very end with sort of Keane looking away mm-hmm. as Mick McCarthy goes to shake his hand. And Louis van Gaal just going into meltdown. Exa- like, exactly. We, it's like, funny. We, very funny. <laughs> It was that good that we turned... We were down to 10 men. Yeah. We turned one of the best minds in world football into... Okay, I have to put Cliver up front. I have to put Van Nistelrooy up front. Hasselbank up front. Like, I mean, saying those... Even you just saying those names, that's just... like That's incredible. Exactly. Keep them out with 10 men team. as well. With like, 10 men, yeah. They had such a good team. Um, so, I, I feel as though... Um, in my opinion, in my opinion, now, that list, Power Carrington should have definitely won. And, spoiler alert... He actually d- surprisingly did win. I was shocked to see he did win. I thought, like, you know, we're such fucking gobshites with rugby. Like, we all just we, jump uh, on a bandwagon. Yeah, it's and it's, oh, it's so um, infuriating. Personally, right, you know I'm a very... I'm a, I'm a balanced guy, right? Um, but I would go Grand Slam. But I understand the Harrington argument. Yeah. And I'd have Grand Slam Harrington 1 and 2. I mean, the Grand Slam, it was a big deal. Yeah, see, I, uh, I, I wouldn't have deal. any any issue with uh, the Grand Slam winning because, like... I mean, listen, Irish rugby, bottlers. They bottlers. didn't bottle it. They didn't bottle it that year. Yeah. Like, about time. Nice did they yeah. bottle it the year of the Johnny Hayes thing, though? They did, absolutely so, bottle true, it. That's very true. Vincent Clark, was yeah. it? Yeah, and conceding the last minute try against Italy in the last day. Like, they lost by four points and points difference. Didn't concede that. They won the... The, they, uh, win, they win. The, they win. the Six Nations. But, uh, yeah, but nobody cares. See, that's the thing. Nobody really about, cares about, nobody the six cares about winning yeah. the Six yeah. Nations. Yeah. It's like back what two thousand and four was it two thousand and four when we won the Triple Crown first time since yeah. nineteen eighty five. Yeah. And then Demil Cat. <laughs> Pray for those international viewers. Yeah. And like that was a huge deal. And then obviously win it the next year. Win it the next year. Two thousand and seven comes around, and we win it again. But it's kind of like. The World Cups that year, nobody really cares about yeah, the Six Nations the World Cup. and then bottling the World Massively. Cup. Massively. Hilariously. Hilariously. Absolutely hilarious. Not as funny as 2015, to be fair, but 
That was the word. That was well. I, speaking of tears, what is it about rugby players crying and it's just being awful? Yeah. I mean, John John Hayes finished third in voting. I, I don't know where Katie Taylor. Katie Taylor didn't finish top three. Hopefully, she got not a single vote. Well, That's she's not it, doesn't, that it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Like one, the decade argument it doesn't make sense. I, I'm like, listen, it's a brilliant achievement to win an Olympic gold, and it was especially, our first one since 1992. Especially as our, you know, Ireland don't win many gold medals. It's exactly, right, exactly, yeah. and it was kind of like she was. She is. The golden girl of Irish sport, because mm. she Mrs. Charisma, they call her. I think <laughs> just so much Absolutely. in your she interviews. Just, just, she just she tell just, me more, exu- Katie. She just tell exudes me more. Conf- oh, yeah. uh, like and she then, is. A, listen, yeah. she is a brilliant athlete, and yeah. she did absolutely obliterate the division. You know? I don't think she is a brilliant athlete because God gave her everything. So what does she do? Yeah. What does that, she do? God is, gave her everything. What did yeah, you do? Her? Not fair. Not yeah. fair. Why don't you give me that? Like they purely made that 2012 just to include her, and it's a bit like. What are you doing? Like, just, just make it to now. Like, like, there's like, been a lot of sport moments between 2017 or put it up to 20, uh, 2016 even. Yeah. Like. Like, there's not been, well, Wales this year, I suppose. But there's Wales, been a lot Italy, of Italy, they might have put in. Italy, they should have put in. Shane yeah. Long against Germany. Yeah. Shane, like, I, I, think, I think if you're going moments. out... There's a hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Sonia O'Sullivan winning a silver, silver medal. Now, listen, there is, there is an element of sort of redemption for that because after what happened to her in... Uh, Atlanta in '96, mm. where she just completely, I don't know what crumbled. was wrong with her. She just crumbled, crumbled. under the pressure. Yeah. She, I think she might have had like some kind of flu or something like that, but she was completely. Excuses. Exactly, but she, she was not herself, and then she comes back and wins a silver medal. Shout out the to The story's your good, yeah. I know, I mean, like, if this is Ramo- Romania's greatest sporting moment, you know, your one Chavo bombing it around that final band going ahead of her. Is That's, that Romania's greatest sporting moment? No, absolutely Sh- not, because surely, surely they have better stuff. And to, surely it's the. Gymnastics woman. Uh, Kamenchi. Yes. Kamenchi. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, 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 no. Um, I'm just talking about this then. <laughs> From 2000 about, to 2012. I thought we were talking about Romania's greatest sport moment ever. In the, in the 70s. We're not, oh, see, it's not the, well, the topic. They, at, least, at least they have the perfect term. We, we'll yeah. get to what her one in the 70s was. But, but, yeah. uh, like we've included two Olympic moments. One of them's not a winner, so surely that can't be Katie Taylor anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So why have we included two Olympic moments? Also, right, jo- I'd actually, I'd have no problem if they put Ireland beating England. Oh no, Park not at all, because that's a big game. That's the first game of Croke Park. That's fine. Against- but just the specific tears. I mean, yeah. come on. Like, as you say, James McLean is a passion merchant. Yeah. And he's not even that bad. Like. Exactly. I, 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 I looked to that game and it, was it, was that the game where Shane Horgan like caught uh, it? Yeah. It, caught it. Mm. Like that, that's, that's a better that is, that is, that's, that's actual a, sport. This is someone singing. Well, I think I think that, that I think that in terms of that game was like because that was kind of like, gee, that's fuck, that's unbelievable. That's like, and, and we, they absolutely destroyed. England were shambolic, game. to be fair. Yeah, they but terrible, of course, what you were going to say next was that his sister is a very successful comedy writer. Was that what you were going to say? Catastrophe on Catastrophe. Channel Four. Uh, uh, new program on BBC One. I don't know what it's called, but uh, <laughs> she's very successful these days. Okay. She's, she's more famous okay. than Shane, actually. Now she is. But the either way, either way, I'd rather yeah. I'd rather talk about Paddy. Power Harrington actually did what's, win it. What's this whole Paddy? What's Paddy? What's this Borg? Borg Bally Rounds Finest. It's very dream now, isn't it? Bar- Bally Rounds Finest. Bally Rounds Finest. Bought a minibus. Yeah. Shout out to Paddy. Bought him a bought him a minibus. It was a great moment. Do you not think 2008 is almost better than? Yeah. It was Woods? Which one was Woods in 2008 or 2007? But defending it, I mean, defending it is a brilliant moment. But I, I think because of moments, it. When was the last time an Irish golfer won a major? Uh, Rory McIlroy. No, no, he's not. Nice. He's British. British. He, <laughs> well, that's I, a I think, I think you look. You look at. You look at Harrington. You look at Harrington. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Winning that, and it just it, then it just became the norm for Irish golfers to go and win majors. Who else? But Darren Clark. Darren Clark. British. Clay McDowell. British. British. <laughs> no, just give me an Irish one. Ernie Els <laughs> was. Uh, <British. laughs> <laughs> if we're claiming them, we won't claim them. VJ saying he loves, he loves the pint. VJ saying. You, let's just wait, everybody. Yeah. Uh, um, but, uh, I think it was the way Harrington won it. Like he looked like he threw it away when he found the water in the no, 18th. I, yeah. I, I jest, but it was an excellent yeah. moment. And to be guess, it was great. To be guess, it in the playoff was absolutely. But, and I had no problem with the winning, by the way. I would have Grand Slam probably would have picked up myself, but I had no problem with uh, with uh, yeah. uh, pa- do it again. Paddy. 
when it, you, you can really you can Paddy. tell you can just tell the dreamness yeah away. you could you could just tell it's, shut uh, your fucking mouth it's uh it's either, either way yeah. uh, either way right yeah. so we're gonna we're gonna get a rundown of everything that won so 60s and 70s they combined them because Ireland didn't really have many many things to be oh, we were still celebrating and, and, and things like that and we and we we still picked the moment that is absolutely shambolic it's actually it embarrassing Munster beating the All Blacks in 1978 I say Munster beating the All Blacks they beat a second string hung over All Blacks in a friendly in, in a friendly, friendly. Yeah. Oh, I like, just realised that Ireland beating New Zealand is going to be the best that's going to be oh, the best moment bloody moment. hell oh, it's so funny oh, bloody oh, hell that is grim and I'm looking forward to that in a few think, years like, they're actually mirror images of each other. Like that New Zealand team in 2016 were hung over. They're out celebrating the Cubs winning the World Series mm, and you yeah. know on holidays in it Chicago. Was friendly, no, it's friendly. Both win, but it was a it's a, it was a it was a money spinning friendly. Ireland won fair play to them, but it's a friendly. Yeah. Don't release DVDs of you winning a friendly. So that was the seven. That was the yeah. 60s and 70s greatest sport moment. It wasn't great. It was like. Du- was it Dublin Kerry? Dublin, Dublin Kerry. Kerry. That was a great game, but I think the Dublin Kerry of 2013 was a better game. And anyway, plus, so. and plus, and plus, I think for greatest sporting moments, listen, GAA is an imperative part of Irish culture, but mm. a world view is necessary in these kind of True. things. What about when Ireland won the um, Gow World Cup, beat Indonesia in the final? Old uh, Petty Singh was out of the final, it's, so we we, see, we don't the, count it as much. This is the yeah, thing. The yeah. only thing I, I like, I dislike about it is that we could, you know, the way the NBA calls it, like, uh, well, the world more so, yeah, yeah, world yeah, championship yeah. and, and, world, and series, world series yeah. and baseball. It's like, why don't we just call the All yeah. Ireland just the All World? The, the one yeah. because Ireland London, London, and New York are in it. Yeah. You know, so we could. And the NBA is actually better as well because actually more countries play basketball. That so is true. Baseball, is true. it's maybe three countries. Japan, yeah, Canada, Japan, um, Puerto well, Rico, Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic, yeah. Cuba. Oh, shit, but like, everyone really plays baseball. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, the one GAA moment I can understand being there is Seamus Derby in 82. Derbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell us what he did again. I don't want to say. I know too much about it. Kerry were going for five in a row. Five like, in a row. Two, yeah. a point up. Because they'd won four in a row. They'd won four so in a row. They're going for five, yeah. First yeah. time ever. And, and he scored a last minute goal to take and it was yeah. And it was awfully sad. It was awfully for, sad for, Kerry. for the people of Kerry banter. I don't uh, care. Disclaimer. Uh, yeah, the 60s and Anyway, the 60s and 70s didn't really have. Lads, please. Yeah, sorry, Lads, sorry. Please. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot the sixties, the sixties and seventies didn't really have a lot of great sporting no. moments. The eighties, yeah, it was stuck at, had to be stuck out. Eighty eight, it had to good, be. Yeah. I mean, not only Ireland's first major tournament in football, beating the old enemy, beating the the old enemy because they don't care about much as they don't care about us much like Germany don't care about them. Yeah. so it's good. Like it's, it's good. It's like funny that. the view as a as an Englishman. It's funny the view of. Um, of Ireland and England is just very friendly. They're like, oh yeah, no, we like the Irish. You know, they're kind of like brothers in arms, and, and then, don't quite realise that there's the end. There's, there's an absolute, there's yeah. a there visceral a, hatred. There is a, a a good portion of English people that don't like the Irish. Though. Like, that is true. The kind that of Brexit is, here is, I think, would be the yeah, but they don't like anything. No, true, they're, true. They're anyway, and, right, and we'll move well, on. The nineties, another football moment. I, like, I think that is the all-time moment. Who, that, that has who to won be. in the nineties? Uh, Italian nineties. Italian nineties. Oh, but then, what will, will does the whole Italian nineties? No, general? it's a penalty shooter. Penalty shooter against Romania. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Now, because as I was, uh, as I talked to you off camera on Monday, they're good. <laughs> they're good friends that, in real life. That, well. uh, that not so much me. great sporting moments are ones that can anyway. stop a whole country. <laughs> that's, Sorry, that's yeah. all I'm at. This banter going back it's and not forth. Banter. Actually. It's just quite driven by attraction. But no, go ahead. Go ahead. Look forward to the off screen antics of yeah, these two. Yeah. Check anyway, them head out. Head back to the uh, to the football there, man. Is that is that the great sporting moments are ones that stop the country in their tracks. That mm. they, uh, mm. that they people go into the streets. Yeah, people like, I mean, you didn't see people dancing on the walk and saying around about when we won the Grand Slam. Exactly. And and, my, and like my dad, right? He's a football fan now because of me, right? He didn't love football back in the day. He like he was fine with it, but he always goes on about it, watching it in the maid's gaff and like literally everyone bought out of the street. And exactly. It was just one of those great communal moments. Everyone forgets all their fears and their problems, and they band yeah, together like, and celebrate to, a good like, victory. Yeah, you know? to go back to like. Uh, the people spilling out of the walk to stand around about like to say another moment like say Michael Carruth winning gold in 92 which That's was also was nominated which was nominated like that was because like similar place Walkinstown and Greenhills is where he's from is that the community around Greenhills stopped in its tracks 
and probably a lot of other places did because that's a very important moment. That's Ireland winning their first goal since uh, Ronnie Delaney, I think. And in, it's a NATO. It's it's like I don't course. think it's as uh, nationwide, like because you know it's just the yeah. It's just it's the way it is because like if you look, he fought for Drimna from Green Hills. Like I know how everyone stopped. I don't know how everyone sort of still. It's just a communal thing. But like I doubt people at Ennis were bloody going mad. I, I think I'd they were happy. happy. I'd say they were happy. I don't. They were happy. I don't, I don't like, but like Italian ninety, it's who, every single person stopped in their tracks. Who tracks. wins all time then? If you've got to do all time right now, all time. It, it, it has, has to be Italian, Italian ninety. Italian ninety. Yeah. I go Kelly Taylor. <laughs> and on that Listen, bombshell that's fine, that's we're fine. going to have to end the show we're going to have a podcast up tomorrow where we're just going to be chatting absolute great stuff about, about, the, about, about the, the World, world, world Cup that world Ireland are not in that Ireland are not in so uh, time to uh, from from Shane don't say it. do not say it <laughs> time to shoot your mouth yeah. don't shoot yeah. your mouth from Shane O'Brien yeah. say goodbye farewell from Leo McGuinn sign Arab. and from multimedia star Sean Finch-Meehan Yamaha. Yeah,